How can we best verbalize our highly sensitive experience to doctors, clinicians, et cetera? I bet many of you have had experiences with this that are um, maybe not awesome. I'm sorry. I've had experiences with this that are not awesome. Mostly my bad experiences are when I don't say anything. Okay, can you relate? There are those times when you go to the doctor and you don't say anything and then it gets um, things kind of spiral out of control and you feel unsafe. Number one tip for doctors and clinicians and hospital experiences is to have somebody with you. Um, you know, your spouse, your adult child, your sister, your best friend, your brother, your father, your mother, to take someone with you to the doctor. Now, actually, there's someone on this webinar who has a great doctor and a great relationship with their doctor and has told me about this. And there comes a time when you get to know if you can stick with the same, you find a good one, by golly, you try to hang on to them because then they know you so well that you can have these conversations and they know that you're going to take notes, go nowhere without your notebook and write down what is said. Also, before you go to the doctor, write down everything that you want to say. I find going to the doctor to be pretty overstimulating myself. Um, there are various reasons in my life. I was raised by a doctor. I'm afraid of medicine. You know, all those, all those lovely things that we all get to deal with um, or that we all have our own things, I guess I'll say. So it's really important. And this is you know, straight from Elaine Aaron's work as well, that we write down all of our symptoms and all of our questions ahead of time. And you might even feel overstimulated just thinking about them. And so you know what the answer is? You ask someone in your life, you talk about what's been going on with you. I think I've mentioned before in these webinars that some people go to the doctor and my son is one of them and um, they, they share their best self. I actually have a friend, I'm gonna just say his name, Timothy. Timothy, um, has some really significant health issues, but he goes to the doctor and tells about his successes with his health. Guess what happens? He doesn't get heard and seen and treated enough. So how about that? Like, how do you do that? Are you going in and flooding your doctor with the negative things or misrepresenting yourself by not show, sharing the, your truth? I don't think we do either of these things on purpose. I think we do it because we get overstimulated with the doctor, okay? So first step, write down your questions, your symptoms, and everything you think you might like to say to the doctor. This is actually a good technique for dealing with communication with anyone who might be challenging. This is, there's some good talking points um, in the literature, but this is basically what I say, and straight from Elaine Aaron. Doctor, you may have noticed that some of your patients really know what's going on in their body. They might be a little more sensitive to pain, but they notice things and they really listen to what you say. They're just a little more tuned in. I'm one of those people. I have this trait called sensory processing sensitivity, or you could just think of it as a finely tuned nervous system. I don't know if you've ever heard of highly sensitive people or not, but there's a lot of literature on it and it's just a personality trait. But what happens is I am really, really aware of sensation, my symptoms, and all of the suggestions that you will make. So I don't want to, you know, just overload you with all my complaints. Uh, so I, I have them written down here, and I'd like to tell you what, what it is that you'd like to know. 